Good morning, story time friends. Welcome to Take Two Tales. I'm Miss Corinne, and I bet you know this song. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. That's such a fun song to sing, naming all the parts of the body. Well, not all the parts of the body. It doesn't have belly buttons in it. I really like belly buttons. I think they're funny, don't you? It's like, oh, there's a button on my belly, but it's not a real button like you would have on your clothes, but it kind of looks like a button. That actually, that reminds me of our story today. How perfect is that? Our story today is all about belly buttons. Actually, it's all about Bill's belly button. Bill is an elephant and this story is called Bill's belly button by Anita Jerome. And well, Bill was an elephant. There was a street and on the end of the street there was a park and in the park there was a pond and there was also an elephant who lived there. His name was Bill. And Bill was friends with all of the kids who lived on the street because they would all come to the park every day and they would all play together. They'd play tag and they'd play hide and seek and they'd, they'd swim in the pond if it was a hot day. In fact, one day it was hot and everybody brought their swimsuits and they were swimming in the pond and oh, I, I, I can see your belly button. I have a belly button too. Look, you have a belly button. Wow, look at her belly buttons. Everybody has a belly button, even button. Oh, I don't know. I've never looked for it before. Bill started looking for his belly button. Oh, where, where's my, where's my belly button? Oh, no, I, um, I, I can't, I can't find my belly button. And he looked all through his wrinkly elephant skin on his belly and he just, he couldn't find his belly button. Oh, guys, I, I think I need help. I can't find my belly button. And so all of the kids helped Bill look for his belly button. They looked all over his belly, but they couldn't find it. His elephant skin is like, is really wrinkly and, and they just, they couldn't find his belly button in the, in his, on his belly. And oh no, maybe I don't have a belly button. Oh, shucks. Oh, I'm the only one who doesn't have a belly button. Oh. Wait a second. One of the little girls, Lucy, always had good ideas. Wait a second, Bill. I have an idea. You know who would know if you have a belly button is the zookeeper because he knows all about animals. Let's write him a letter. So she went home and she got a piece of paper and a pencil and, and a, an envelope and she ran back to the park and they wrote a letter. Dear zookeeper, my friend Bill has lost his belly button. Can you tell us where to find it? We have looked everywhere. Love, Lucy. P.S. Bill is an elephant. She folded it up. She put it in an envelope, addressed it to the zookeeper, and put it in the mail. And they waited for an answer. Bill was still still feeling pretty down about the fact that he couldn't find his belly button. And he was really afraid that he didn't have a belly button. And it made him sad. One day, Bill was taking a nap in the park. And Lucy came. She saw that he was asleep. And she had an idea. Remember, she was always coming up with good ideas. She ran home and she got all of her washable markers and she called all of Bill's other friends to come to the park with her and she said, here's what we're going to do. Watch this. I gave Bill a belly button. Do you guys want to go? Oh yeah, me, 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 me next. And so all of the kids took turns drawing belly buttons on Bill's tummy. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, I'm gonna do two. Oh boy. Oh wow. I really like this game. Oh, oh look at that one. <laughs> and when Bill woke, 
woke up and he saw his belly was covered with belly buttons. <laughs> this is so funny, you guys. Thank you. I have belly buttons. I have belly buttons. Belly, belly buttons. Yay, I'm just like everybody else. And they played and they laughed and they played hide and seek and they played tag and then it was a hot day so they all jumped in the pond. But when Bill jumped in the pond, you know what happened to that washable marker? It just washed right off. Oh no! Oh golly! My, my belly button! Oh! Bill was so sad. Those belly buttons had just washed right off. The next day he was still feeling pretty sad about his belly button. But Lucy came running to the park. Look, look, Bill, I got a letter and it's it's from the zookeeper. Let's read it. Oh boy, this is exciting. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. <clears throat> Dear Lucy, it is almost impossible to find an elephant's belly button. I tried for years, but Bill's belly button is there somewhere under his wrinkles so please tell him not to worry anymore love george the keeper city zoo bill you really do have a belly button it's just really hard to find the zookeeper said it and he knows everything about animals yay oh bill was so happy i have a belly button I know that it's true. That's because the keeper told me from the zoo. I have a belly button and I know that it's true. That's because the keeper told me the guy from the zoo. Oh boy, we all have belly buttons. What a great story. Well, if you like this story, you know, you guys can come check it out at the library. And we've got lots of stories about elephants and about body parts like your head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and even your belly buttons and your elbows and your eyes. That's my ears. Your eyes and your ears and mouth and nose. And I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye.